namo bhittasa this is our part 4 of the topic kappa destruction and reformation so um bhante vimala vansa has been continuously guiding us on this very difficult topic um let me introduce uh, bhante bhante vimala vansa is a pali scholar teacher in abhidhamma and mentor in samatha and vipassana meditation his monastery in sri lanka is shri kalyani yogashram forest monastery and uh, before moving to in india bhante recently moved to india uh, to correct the to teach us the correct uh, dhamma uh, before moving to india bhante was uh, in myanmar uh, under guidance of uh, most venerable pauk uh, sayado ji and uh, bhante now as i said in india to guide us and uh, he has been continuously guiding us teaching us uh, and uh, with compassion great compassion he took this very difficult topic and today is um, the concluding part part 4 of kappa kappa vinasa uh, and reformation so um, as we begin our session uh, we'll ask uh, khama yachana and uh, tisaran panchashil yachana from bhante भन्ते 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 मया भन्ते भन्ते टाइम्स गच्छामि गच्छामि गच्छामि
Isarana Sarana Sampunan Panati Pata Vera Mani Sikapadan Samadiyami Panati Pata Vera Mani Sikapadan Samadiyami Dinadana Vera Mani Sikapadan Samadiyami Adinadana Vera Mani Sikapadan Samadiyami Kame sumichachara vera mani sikha padan samadhyami. Kame sumichachara vera mani sikha padan samadhyami. Musavada vera mani sikha padan samadhyami. Musavada vera mani sikha padan samadhyami. Surame re majya pamadat. Hana Vera Mani Sikha Padam Samadhyami Sura Mera Yamacha Pamada Tana Vera Mani Sikha Padam Samadhyami Isaraning the Sadhing Panchasi Landaman Sadhukam Surakitam Katwa Pamade in a Sampa de Tabam Bhante Sadhu Sadhu, Sadhu. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bhante, for your Dhamma Dana today. So, on behalf of all the participants, I ask you, Bhante, to please continue to guide us on this topic of Kappa destruction and reformation. Namo tasa bhagavatu arhato samma Sambutasa Namutasa Bhagavatu Arahatu Samma Sambudhasa Namutasa Bhagavatu Arahatu Samma Sambudhasa May Triple Gem bless you all. Nice to meet you again. This is the for destruction and the formation or the eon destruction or and eon formation uh, part four uh, we finish eon destruction from the uh, eon destruction owing to the fire how eon destruction and again reformation i taught you in the last sessions now, Ian destruction owing to the water. How copper destruction or the copper in the Ian? Uh, Ian destruction owing to the water. Uh, every time, for example, can you remember in the Ian destruction owing to the fire also? Initially, this precursor, the sign, the pre sign of the huge black cloud. That is that that again arise in in this uh, water destruction also. So initially, therefore, a precursor of huge black cloud uh, that is what is called ion destruction black cloud, ion destruction cloud that arise. Even in the wind uh, destruction also, first this precursor arise, the precursor of huge black cloud. <laughs> Then this uh, black cloud rains heavily over uh, actually 100,000 100, into 10 million water cycle. This is uh, should be uh, other way around. 100,000 into 10 million water cycle, uh, it rains heavily. And then human glad and sow their uh, seeds on the field. But when these sprouts have grown enough for cow to eat, then the you don't have rain at all. Uh, then when this rain is withheld ever, then the beings who are rain dependent, especially uh, rain dependent deva, <clears throat> the celestial being who are uh, if, if they are rain dependent, they died and reborn in the Paripabha Brahma rain. Ah. Here, 
Ya, Paritab Ramarev. Yes, uh, I want to correct here. This is not the Paritab Brahma Rem. This is in the Subakina Brahma Rem. Subakina. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is Paritab Brahma Rem. Okay. They reborn in the Paritab Brahma Rem. And, uh, you know, then the terrestrial deva being also, terrestrial deva being mean Bhumat deva. Bhumat deva also. Uh, they are usually uh, fruit and flower dependents. They also died there and reborn in Parithaba Brahmarem. Uh, that means in the uh, third Jahana Brahmarem. Second Jahana Brahmarem. Sorry. After, uh, you, now you know, uh, if they reborn in the Parithaba Brahmarem, and then after a very long period of time, all water, water gives out. Gives out here and there, here and there. I mean, the, in the ocean um, and the river, rivers and lakes in the world, uh, every uh, world, I mean, uh, you know, in the, not only ocean in, and rivers in the lakes in our Jambu Deepa, you know, in the Pubba Videha and uh, Upper Goyana world, human world, and even in the Uttarakuru human world, also uh, this happened. Uh, and then what happened? Then beings who are living in the water, like fishes and turtles, uh, so on, beings die there and uh, they reborn in the human, human and deva world because, because of their karma. Because of their karma in the in the past karma, they reborn in in the in in that uh, that mean in the human and deva world, and in the human and deva world they produce jhana, they produce jhana taking especially uh, metta, karuna, mudita, upeka objects. Metta mean you know loving kindness, and the metta karuna mean compassion, and then uh, sympathetic joy is the upeka and Equanimity meditation is the uh, upe, sorry, sympathetic joy is the um, mudita, and equanimity meditation is the uh, uh, upeka. <clears throat> and then they reborn in the Brahma plane. And then the celestial deities, uh, because they know now, they they uh, they know now, uh, couple destruction will occur. Uh, uh, a hey, uh, hundred thousand years after a uh, hundred thousand year from from now so therefore these uh, celestial deities called world marshals loka buha deva loka buha deva deities they come uh, come to know that at the end of this uh, one lakh years there will be the year destruction so these loka buha devas uh, with disheveled hair and tearful faces, mopping the tears by their hand and dressed with the reddish cloths and having extremely outlandish appearance. And they traveling on the human raiment announced in this way. Good sir, at the end of one lakh years uh, from now, one lakh years hmm, from now, there will be rising up of the kappa. Here, rising up, up of the kappa means the kappa destruction. Rising up of the kappa, this world will be destroyed and the great ocean will dry. Uh, and the great earth and, you know, the Me Mount Meru, all the um, um, Meru mountain will burn and destroy. The, not only that, right? Not only Mahameru Mountain. If you if you understand, the earth will be destroyed. I mean, all of the formation thing destroyed. Then the destruction will extend as far as Brahma world. Loving kindness could uh, develop and develop compassion, sympathetic joy, and uh, equanimity. That means want to produce jhana. And uh, uh, first you want to want to be a very smooth mind and then thereafter you need to produce jhana and three uh, okay and then uh, 
treat to your mother, treat to your father. Sorry, yeah. Uh, that means take care of your mother, take care of your father, honor the elders in the family and the clan, and treat and respect for the ladies in the family and society. And uh, do, do not uh, put them as a garbage and eliminate the domestic violence to zero and share the family's responsibilities equally. And so on, a lot of meritorial performance they mention. I, I didn't mention everything here. Um, but in Atakata, a uh, lot of things they have, a uh, lot of meritorial performance they, this Lok Bhuha Deva mention. And having heard of the this Deva world, now plenty of Deva and humans, they are most likely filled with the sense of urgency, what is called Sangvega. And they are gut-wrenching, heart-wrenching, and uh, they have been soft-minded thereafter with each other. And uh, they make merits with lo loving kindness, sympathetic joy, and, uh, and uh, you have compassion and equanimity. They, they produce thereafter. And after they, they reborn in the celestial world. Celestial world, if they produce jhana, then they, produce, they reborn in the Brahma plane. Uh, and then uh, here thereafter they if they reborn in the celestial world they take their divine food there and and then because of the uh, maybe they, they they are taught then they are taught how to produce the air kasina meditation Vayu Kasina meditation because they, they are uh, no, now no object for the earth Kasina. No object for the other Kasina. Uh, you have uh, Akasa Kasina and Vayu Kasina like that only you have. Light Kasina maybe. Yeah, light Kasina still you have. But uh, usually they produce air Kasina. And uh, the, 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 taking the meditation object, the air Kasina, and they achieve jhana there and reborn in the Brahma plane. By here, the hell beings also reborn in the celestial world through the already accumulated karma. But uh, you know, now in the hell, they can't produce uh, any um, any material deeds because they are um, suffering more in the hell. But now, what happened? This already accumulated karma means. That is what is called Aparaparya Vedaniya Kam. Aparaparya Vedaniya Kam. And uh, uh, which gives its results in the future lives. But in the case of uh, uh, Avichi, I mentioned this in the former, former session also. In the beings in the Avichi, Avichi means the last hell, the deepest hell. In the deepest hell, the Avichi, what is the uh, lifespan there, un one antar cup. One antar cup is the lifespan. So, um, if this happen in this world, and uh, now, you know, after, uh, uh, can you remember, in the in the world destruction, or into the fire, all, now we, uh, after that, if the fire, uh, fire, you know, if the fire Invade the uh, the deepest hell up to deepest hell. You you can see the hell there thereafter. But their lifespan still there. It, this is the um, uh, owing to the water. Uh, but still, they are also their lifespan is still here. Now, what happened to them? Lifespan is still still here. Uh, that means they they didn't exhaustion. They they didn't get the extra exhaustion the lifespan because. They are, their lifespan is much more longer, one anthar cup. So therefore, what happened to them? I explained this thing in the in the, the, the cup destruction or going to the fire. Also, what happened to them? They reborn. They reborn in the. Uh, they die there and uh, reborn in the lokantarika naraka. Where is the lokantarika naraka in the? Three, uh, in between the three world cycles, in between the three world cycle, you have Lokantarika Naraka. That is very cold and uh, open. It's open to the uh, space. 
they don't have like a world like us our world is covered by the chakkavala pabbada that means stone of the chak the outer layer of the, this uh, this world cycle but it, that lokantrika naraka that means in between the world three world cycle you have 8000 leagues uh, um, space 8000 leagues uh, in between the three world cycle so in in there they reborn usually they are you know uh, their body is very huge very huge body they have and they have again uh, like a um you know the the nails nails are very long and um, pointed very long and pointed nails like a bat they they now hang with this uh, nails in the in the base of the world world cycle so uh, you know atakatha says in this way if they they are not seen each other because of the Uh, they are they are vast gloomy they are gloomy darkness you have they are so therefore they don't uh, see each other only they can see in the uh, you know uh, sometimes you may hear this thing uh, when the uh, bodhisattva bodhisattva from the uh, to see the deva world if they, he come when he get the conception and all the patisandhi in the mother's womb then the because of that reason now world become illuminated world become illuminated because of that reason in this illumination also doesn't uh, um, doesn't exist for long like a um, uh, you know atakatha says it is like a, with this uh, illumination will last for a um when we take take uh, something to the mouth and we want to swallow uh, the, like a uh, liquid hmm? liquid that is called the gra- gravel sorry gra- uh, gravy thing gravy thing if we if we drink th- that that type of uh, the time only that type of that type of time that means very little time they exist this light exists in this uh, uh, in this light with this light they can see each other and uh, after that light also vanish and you know here they are uh, they are like crawling they are crawling uh, in the world um, you know the base of the world cycle they are crawling so therefore if something uh, something uh, somebody touch the others they they think that uh, oh i got a food and then they try to catch the others and then what happen they fall down into the fall down they fall down into what is called uh, uh, um, the, yeah they fall down and then uh, they uh, with the with the wind of the space the atakata says the or the commentary says that uh, they break like a like a fruit in this say they actually suffer a lot there so therefore uh, ac- the accumulation of the merits are very important so keep it mind here and then in this way you know all beings now uh, the, the other beings i mean not in this hell being hell being in the um, whatever the life span uh, remaining life life span of that hell being the avichi or the last uh, or deepest uh, hell being uh, apart from the, um, the other beings they reborn in the other beings mean then this uh, re, uh, hell being the reborn in the lokantarik naraka or the Uh, the world in between the three world cycle and then the other beings only this is i mentioned here in this way all beings mean uh, except that being except that being other all being are reborn in the brahma realms as uh, jahan attainment in the celestial world so and then from the stopping of the rainfall after long period of time 
ahead, the great cloud of caustic water appears now here. Here, in the, can you remember in the, um, the world destruction or into the fire, what happened after a long period of time of uh, this, all beings are now not, not in this, uh, this earth and the other Deva world also. And then uh, what happened in the owing to the fire, the world destruction owing to the fire, here, you know, here at that time, can you remember the second sun appeared thereafter. Now here what happened, the huge cloud of uh, caustic waters appeared. Caustic waters appears. That is what is called Karudaka Mahameg. Karudaka Mahameg. That is the caustic waters. You know what happened? Caustic uh, ca caustic water uh, getting getting touch into the skin, skin damage up to maybe muscle bo bones like that. So then, what happened to the this caustic um, the rain? Uh, only now caustic rain to the world. So then that means our world made it up, made it away. So uh, that is the uh, therefore here. After a long period of time from the stopping of the rainfalls, and you know, the great cloud of caustic waters appear. And this, uh, this caustic uh, water clouds now first rains gently, and then, but it goes into the uh, rain gradually up to the greater deluge, like a flood. And uh, now, these uh, caustic waters. With, the, with this greater deluge pouring down upon uh, <clears throat> 100,000 and 10 million world cycle. Not only our world cycle, uh, every time, you know, this uh, as a one unit destroyed, uh, 100,000, that means 1 lakh and 1 million, 1 lakh into 1 million world cycle. And now, as soon as the world cycle, um, as soon as world cycles are touched by these caustic waters, the earth, mountains, and sun, moon, so on, all formation made, uh, made away. And waters are supported all around by the winds because, you know, um, now uh, this water, if the space is water, wind support for that. And then these caustic waters uh, take invasion from the earth up to the second jhana plane. And they are it doesn't, uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't affect to the second jhana plane, and they are stopped there. That um, this karudaka water or the, the caustic water, and then this caustic water never melt away the third jhana plane. Second jhana plane also, uh, it uh, it affects the second jhana plane also, and here. The caustic waters never melt, melt away the third jhana plane. Subakinna. Third jhana plane is the Subakinna. And uh, so therefore, you know, uh, now all beings are in the Subakinna Deva world. So, sorry, Brahma world. All beings are in the Subakinna Brahma world. And thereafter, uh, if, if the if the all beings are now Subhakina Brahma world, and then this caustic word, now you have no world. To the Subhakina Brahma world, you have no world. For example, you don't have earth, you don't have the six Deva rims like uh, Chatu Maharajika, Tavatinsa, Yama, Tusita, and then Nimanarati, Paraminimita Vasavati, and the first jhana plane, second jhana plane, you don't have. That means again you that that means your sun and the moon also you don't have because that formation made away, made away now because of this caustic water strain. And then what happened? Uh, the uh, another slide. <clears throat> and then what happened? Uh, now actually uh, you know if any forms exist, any form exists. Even an atom exists, caustic water do not subside. But uh, they suddenly subside and vanish when the old formation have been melted away by melted away and disappeared by them. They suddenly vanish. They, uh, if you don't have any atom of the 
of the formation, they suddenly vanish. And now the lower space and the upper space of the world cycles are in, you know, as uh, as I taught you in the in the, uh, the world destruction owing to the fire also, there, thereafter you don't have any uh, space, uh, no, no formation. That means in the upper world cycle as well as the lower space, you know, this is in the vast gloomy darkness. And then from the appearance of the, uh, the, the thereafter, now you don't, you, after a long time, this happened, then this, the, um, this keeps for a long time, <clears throat> this gloomy darkness, it, it keeps for a long time. And from the appearance of the even destruction black cloud up to the disappearance of the last atom of the, of the formation at the limit of Subakina, that is what is called one asankeya kappa or one um, one incalculable eon, one in incalculable eon. And the, the, uh, the, uh, this you um, keep in mind this thing. And, the, and then you know this uh, at the end of long period of time thereafter, after the caustic water rain, and then what happened again? Huge cloud cloud arises because this is the again the rehabilitation cloud. This is the rehabilitation cloud. You know, after a long period of time, that means our world again reform. This is the reformation then. Hmm? And then um, this I mentioned in the in in what is called in the um, fire, world reformation causing causing to the owing to the um, fire also so therefore the, at the end of long period of time after this plastic order and again huge cloud arises this huge cloud you know this is the huge cloud of rehabilitation crowd and the, uh, first it rains gently and it increases these rains increases gradually up to heavier deluge again so it pours down you know uh, upon all melted area by the caustic waters. Now you don't have any anything. The, uh, now this uh, rain, because of rain, um, the, the damage area, the old damage area now uh, uh, filled with this, this uh, rehabilitation, uh, the rain from this rehabilitation cloud. cloud this is up to as a um, the, you know the world cycle. How many world cycle? A hundred, a hundred thousand and ten million world cycles. Uh, these rains happen and then the rain disappear. And immediately after that, what happened? The wind, wind arises. Wind means the forces, and wind rise up and you know uh, now wind can compact the water, body and all around as well and makes round. Now uh, the wa water only you have uh, in, uh, in the world cycle, you have only water. Then that water, what happened? Um, this wind, wind makes it round and wind, wind compact the water, like a water drops in the lotus leaf. And then what happened? <clears throat> you know, uh, how this uh, winds compact, compress, uh, that great mass of water, I explained this thing in the fire also, how you only have no water and the wind. So what happened? Uh, water makes gaps in between. Water makes the gap. In between the water, water makes the gap in between. And you know, uh, um, uh, after forming gap, what happened? That means the wind gives the gap. The water gives the gap for the wind. Therefore, um, what happened? You know, now winds can compact it and reduce the water, compress, compact and reduce the water very easily because of the, uh, for the wind, water makes gaps in here and there. So therefore, uh, the compacted water, that means they are heavy now. Compacted water is heavy now. So they uh, that compacted water gradually descends down. And the water <clears throat> being compressed now being uh, by the wind, 
that compacted the reduced gradually and subsides subsides mean they uh, actually they they sinks the the water sinks as it sinks and descends the lower brahma world appear in its former planes for example now uh, up to the uh, second jhana plane our world destroyed and the second jhana plane appear first and then the first jhana plane appear first and then you know uh, parnimita vasavati and nimanarati uh, like deva plane to yeah, to, to sita yama uh, they, then uh, like that uh, the all um, the planes thereafter uh, will be reformed in this way lower brahma plane is there, now established right lower brahma plane is established again the brahma of that plane reborn from the here not from the abhasara right not from the abhasara it is from the subhakinha you need to get corrected here not from the abhasara abhasara mean it is from the uh, the um, what called the fire because of the fire if the up to abhasara brahma plane fire destroy whole world now here up to the subhakinha brahma plane this uh, caustic water destroy the world so therefore this should be um uh, this should be uh, subhakin uh, sorry this is subhakin uh, not from the abhasara when the you know now when the water descends further down parnimita vasavarti nimmanarati tusita yama uh, like four deva world reappear in their former planes usually and uh, but when it has sunk to the former earth level what happened very strong winds arises very strong wind arises the as a forces and then very strong winds arise and suddenly stop and uh, now what happened hold is stationary like you know uh, this is atagata mention in this way like the water in the water part when the outlet covered by a lid and in this way that, uh, that mean they they become stationary then now the water becomes stationary now what happened now further uh, strong winds now stop therefore what happened um because of that reason the fresh water as the fresh water gets used up by the wind compression now the essential humus now you know uh, now the 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 uh, compact compact particles appear compact particles appear I mean you know i explained this thing in the in the um, fire fire after fire destruction and the reformation also that mean you know now you uh, the water uh, means you have eight uh, types of materiality patavi the earth element water element uh, wind element uh, um, the temperature element wind element color order flavor and the nutritive essence those are the water mean that that is the uh, atta kalapa or the uh, pure octet kalapa so this pure octet kalapa what happened because of the wind forces now we, uh, the patavi element is more prominent than the other so therefore our world, our uh, the earth formed here because of the because of the uh, earth now is being formed the, uh, when the earth be earth is being formed this essential humus comes up comes up and makes it appearance on it that mean like a, you know um, you know the, when you uh, cook milk rice what happen milk rice when when you cook milk rice it gives the the, the surface film on milk rice the, when it dries up and dries up what happen you you can see the surface film on the milk rice in this way our world also when the earth uh, while forming the earth in the upper surface or the um, yeah the, in the surface it forms the essential humus that is very which has a very attractive color smell and the taste uh, then what happened then you know then the beings who were reborn in the first in the not in the sabasara this is the subhakinna brahma world Hmm? Subhakinna Brahma world. Again, uh, sorry, this I mentioned in this way. This I mentioned mean um, this is a mistake. 
so sorry uh, in the subhukinna brahma world right subhukinna brahma world die there they die there and reappear in the earth because of the finishing of their lifespan or diminishing of their merits the, um, either one of the cause um, because of either one of the cause you can they they be being reborn in the in the hum, uh, human world now earth is formed and then uh, then there are but they these beings are they are self luminous self luminous mean they have they are on light and joy con consume that mean they have uh, jahana jahana power they have jahana power so therefore they in the first jahana you have you have vitakta vichara piti sukha ekagata that mean vitakta mean the initial application vichara mean the sustained application piti mean the joy uh, piti and the um, piti sukha is the happiness and then ekagata mean the one fight intense so in the first jhana and the second jhana also you have joy you have joy so joy they consume joy they don't contain they don't take any gross food and they consume joy and they wander in the sky uh, they can wander in the sky because their body is very light and uh, they live in they live in this way for a long time and what happened then then the our craving arise arises then a certain being among them uh who develop greed thinking and now he is very curious about what this would be what this would be mean what this essential humors he shows the essential humors and then what what this would be and uh, thinking in this way taking that essential humors by the finger film on the tongue and then what happened Uh, his mind is overcome by craving they are, now the others also follow him and they also overcome by the craving this craving is for that is, therefore this craving is very dangerous now what happened now they are very much busy very much busy in making lumps on the uh, lumps of humans essential humans to eat in the greedy way for uh, greedy way for long time period that means they actually uh, this also happen this um, consuming of this uh, essential humors which also takes long time because you know uh, from whole uh, for for not only our earth you have another for three earth also uttarakuru apubavideha and abaragoyan same way so they also did the, this this thing we all, in our jambudeep also uh, they did also in the same way and because of this craving their self luminosity now vanishes self luminosity now vanishes because because of this uh, vanishing of their light in the body they have own own unique light now they don't have because of this craving and then the surface become dark again dark because you don't have uh, at the moment also in the in the world uh, sun and the moon doesn't appear don't appear still now be because of when, when they see this darkness and they get fear they get frightened and what happened thereafter because of they get frightened you know uh, <clears throat> uh, the appearance of the sun and moon i explain uh, in the in the fire destruction and the after thereafter in the fire reform uh, after destruction reformation also i explain how appearance of the sun and moon uh, sun disk appear thereafter you know that sun disk is 50 uh, leagues across and then moon thereafter moon appears i i am not going to explain this thing because i explain this thing in the fire fire destruction and fire reformation after fire destruction fire, um, the world reformation uh, and the moon how many moon uh, 49 across the, the across leagues legal cross and thereafter they consume this essential humans for a long time and then you know then what happened uh, they um, this mushrooms appear 
mushrooms appear, ahi chattaka. Ahi chattaka mushroom appear. This mushroom also automatically appears in the world. World mean in the in the earth. You know, this mushroom also uh, in, uh, it has very attractive color, odor, and the flavor. So after mushroom consuming, they then they they will they this mushroom consuming period also uh, the long period, not the small periods. And again, what happened? They they humiliate uh, after um, after mushroom consuming and humiliating and uh, mocking and then you know the deceiving the others people. Uh, what happened? The uh, usually the ugly ones. Uh, I told in this way in the in the fire destruction after remote reformation. Now you have uh, in the world the main beings are having many different skin color black color tan color and uh, pink color and yellow color like uh, many different color and among these color uh, usually the, the uh, brilliant skin color people now uh, they humiliate the ugly ones Be because of this uh, conceit and the craving mushroom also disappeared and you know thereafter rice without husk appear same thing happened same thing happened to this rice without husk also and then rice with husk appears thereafter because of their conceit and the craving and you know thereafter male and female sex appears and then uh, how they um, you know how they quarrel for the lands and then uh, um, uh, what, what the bodhisattva how the bodhisattva they they um, nominated bodhisattva as a uh, as a as a one who handled these people like thing everything uh, ha uh, everything should be known here but I am not going to describe everything here because I explained this thing in the in the in in the our uh, formal lecture. And then uh, this is the summary of the uh, um, eon destruction by water and eon reformation of uh, after that. You know, from or, or in every destruction prior to every destruction, you have precursor great black cloud. So therefore, from the arising of this precursor great black clouds of eon destruction up to the uh, ceasing of the caustic water destruction is one calculable, one incalculable eon. And from the ceasing of the caustic water up to the great cloud of rehabilitation, you know, thereafter again rehabilitation cloud appears and this constitutes the second incalculable eon. And then from the rehabilitation cloud up to the sun and moon appears, this is the third incalculable eon. And thereafter, from the sun and moon appears up to the uh, for, uh, up to the fully formed world, and thereafter appearance of the destruction cloud. There again, destruction cloud appears. That is the fourth incalculable eon. So in this way, after uh, this is the way. Um, the destruction by the water, owing to the water and the reformation thereafter. Okay, now let's go to see how the our cup of destruction or apocalypse um, um, owing to the wind, owing to the wind. And uh, now you know we we have we have our bird like that, and then. After a long time, this happens after a long time, the occasion when the uh, eon destruction um, eon destruction happened by the air actually fully treated in the way already described starting with the first of all the flickers of the eon destruction great cloud appears like that. I explained this mean this several times. That means in every every situation, if the if the world destruction by the fire, water, and the wind, what happened? First of all, this precursor sign, precursor sign of even destruction, great cloud appears. Keep it in mind. Every time the same thing happened, and then the different thing also. And the, uh, here there is this difference. However, while Ian destroyed, destroying owing to the fire, 
you know, their was second son. Uh, what happened to the uh, the even destruction by the water? The caustic water appears. Caustic water cloud appears. Karudika Mahamega appears there. Now, uh, now what happened here? In this case, as wind, uh, wind is the one who destroy this eon. So therefore, um, in this case, as wind rises, arises in order to destroy the eon, uh, eon that means what is called Kappa Vinasa Mahavata. Kappa Vinasa Mahavata. Pali, this is the Pali term. Kappa Vinasa Mahavata. That means the wind, uh, the wind, uh, 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 the, the wind who, that destructs the world. That is the Kappa Vinata, Vinasa Mahavata. And now what happened? This, uh, after rising of this wind, after rising of this wind, we, this wind first of all lift up fine and subtle dust on the earth and then coarse dust and then fine st stand like thing and then coarse stand and then gravel and then stone like that in this way until it slips up the stones as big as pinnacle building you know pinnacle building in kutagara uh, cataphlac cataphlac that is the kutagara um, and uh, kutagara mean you, you know you have you have seen me maybe in the western country you have this pinnacle building uh, m much frequently and that is the Kutagara, like uh, in, in the Pali term is the Kutagara. And uh, stones, like Kutagara, stones, that means it lifts up. And, uh, and it lifts up the huge trees, huge trees standing in uneven places. Standing in uneven places mean the, uh, uneven places. If you, if you have trees like, uh, you know, in the in the steep of the mountain, you have these uneven places. So therefore, if there are much more huge trees, trees, not the trees, trees, right? Uh, sorry, uh, that such such type of trees it lifts up. And what happened thereafter? They are swept from the earth up to the sky. Now uh, these the um, lift up and swept. Right, and instead of the falling down, but, but if something lift up to the sky or the space, what happened? It 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 may fall. It definitely fall. Now, um, instead of the uh, falling down again, they are broken into the minute particles. That means uh, they are breaking out to the bits and cease to exist in the sky. That means no um, up to the minute particles and that minute particles also cease. That means no nothing in the uh, in the formation in this way is the all material or the all formation the destroy in this way. Then the eventually wind arises from the underneath of the great earth. This is you see this is uh, after destruct. After um, lifting up of the old formation like stones and the uh, trees and everything, thereafter what happened in the earth, underneath the earth, they arises from underneath the earth. And then um, what happened? The, they overturn the earth, overturns the earth um, and throwing into the space. For, uh, for example, they, they break break down this uh, earth up to 100 yojana uh, pieces and, you know, 200 yojana, 300 yojana, like that. Uh, the earth splits into fragments, measuring 100 leagues yojana, 200 leagues, 300 leagues, 500, 600, like that, right? 700 and like that. And they hurled into the space too. And uh, now what happened? All if you all are in the space, they broken in the sky to bits and cease to exist there. So that means they never come down to the earth again. And the, what happened to the mountain? Mountain of the Mahameru-like thing. Mountains are wrenched up and cast into the space. They throw into the space. 
and uh, they mean this wind uh, where they crash against each other in the space in the space in the sky until they are broken into the beast into beast, bits and disappear right. till they broken into the bits and disappear that means till they uh, di disappear or broken into the minute particles or the or the subatomic particles like thing so then thereafter they disappear this wind disappear and in this way you know uh, wind destroy the terrestrial deva mansions bhumattaka deva mansions and celestial deva mansions including all six deva plane they destroy this wind destroy and this happens you know as a one unit as a one unit in 10 100000 into 10 million world cycle this also happen like the uh, the uh, world destruction by fire also same world destruction by the water also same uh, extent this is the extent 100000 and 100000 into 10 million world cycle they destroy in the same way and the you know uh, then when the world cycle collides with the world cycle usually it happens world cycle collides with the world cycle and the uh, Himalaya mountain, or we can say the Mount, uh, Mount Everest, Mount Everest with Mount Everest, or the Himalaya mountain with the Himalaya mountain, and Mount Sinaru, or the mountain Mahameru, uh, which another world cycle, my mountain Mahameru. And in this way, till they are broken into bits and disappear. And uh, um, <clears throat> Now you don't have anything. They, this wind invades from the earth up to the third jhana plane. That means up to up to third jhana plane means up to Subhakinnaka. And then it stops uh, at the fourth jhana plane, what is called the Vehapala. It stops in the fourth jhana plane, in the Vehapala. In this way, uh, the winds destroy whole world up to fourth jhana plane. In the fourth jhana plane, you know, this is the fourth jhana plane. There are uh, Vehapala Brahmas, Vehapala Brahmas, and then again you have Asanya Sattva. Asanya Sattva means that uh, that Brahma, uh, two different Brahma plane in the same plane, right? In the same plane, you different Brahma plane you have. And uh, uh, this uh, Asanya Sattva means, you know, they are, they are not having the mind and the mental factors, only they have the body. So up to that level, the wind invades and destroy whole world. And thereafter, what happened? Thereafter, what happened? Then again, you want to reform the world. Reform the world. Uh, then it is like a, uh, what I explained in the wind, uh, sorry, in the water destruction and the uh, fire destruction after same thing happened. This thing happened in this way also. So now, now you in this way we destroy all formation things up to Vehapala Brahma plane and then vanishes. We don't have the wind also. And now in the same way, upper space and the lower space of the world cycles are now vast gloomy darkness. You don't have any light. And what happened? Uh, thereafter, you know, again, after a long period of time, not as soon as the uh, wind vanishes, after a long period of time, uh, when the world reformation world reformation happens, it starts from the, uh, the then the being beings uh, the, uh, yeah reformation also start from the replacement of the subakinnaka brahma world because that is the up to subakinnaka uh, yeah subakinnaka brahma world also uh, you know third jhana planes totally de destruction totally destroyed now. From the Subhakinnaka Brahma plane, again the world reformation happens. And beings, now all beings are in the Vehapala Brahma plane, not in the uh, down planes, on, only in the Vehapala Brahma plane. Now, from the, now the, when the uh, beings uh, falling from the Vehapala Brahma plane. Falling mean here, you don't need to understand. Uh, now you have Vehapala Brahma plane and then 
uh, Subakina Brahma plane uh, arises in the in, in its former plane, not just being falling from there, right? Here, this what is the meaning of the they here the being falling from the Vehapala Brahma plane? That means uh, for the Subakina Brahma plane, that means they get uh, their chuti or their uh, death in the Vehapala Brahma plane. And then because of their uh, karma, they are they reborn in the Subakina Brahma world. First, th that means the, the beings who, who reborn in the Vehapala Brahma plane at first, they reborn they, because now their lifespan may be finished. And then they are, they rebound re first in the Subhakinna Brahma world. And in this way, the relevant other planes down to the Subhakinna also formed eventually, you know, from the Subhakinna, Subhakinna Brahma plane and then Abhasara, uh, Paritha, uh, yeah, Abhasara Brahma plane and then uh, you have Mahabrahma Brahma plane and then you have six Deva planes and then the earth like that. Uh, this uh, formation, reformation is like that of the uh, 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 reformation after water destruction and the fire destruction. And uh, in this way, world uh, reformation as well as the um, reformation, uh, world destruction as well as the reformation happened. And the, now we want to, uh, we want to check out how why, what is the reason for world destruction in this way this is according to the buddha's teaching B buddha never tell lie and uh, uh, so therefore buddha mentioned what is the causes the causes are the akusala mula karana akusala mula karana akusala mula karana mean root of demerits are the reasons what is the root of demerits raga this, dosa, moha, uh, do, dosa, the raga, dosa, moha. What is the what is the meaning of raga? Raga means the lust or the craving, greed, and passion of the uh, beings. Passion of not not only human being. Passion of the deva. Passion of the human being and passion of the uh, the animal beings and you know ghost and the demon even in the hell being. All pa passion of all. Raga means that is the thing. And what is the dosa? Dosa means the hatred, anger, ill will, you know, animosity and uh, hostility and uh, uh, rage like thing. That is the dosa. And moha. What is the moha? Your illusion, delusion and uh, uh, ignorance. Those are the moha. Or oh, avijja. Moha is the avijja. Moha and Avija are the same. And uh, so therefore, basically, Buddha says, uh, roots of the demerits, akusala mula, roots of the demerits mean akusala mula, karana mean the hetu, the reason, reason, causes. That means the roots of the demerits are the reasons. So keep in mind, this is very important. If our raga arises, if our dosa arises, if our moha arises, what happened? World destroyed. So again, Buddha says in this way, when the Akusala Mula uh, accrual, the world cycle destroy. Akusala Mula increase of the Akusala Mula, uh, the world cycle destroy. How destroy? When the beings lust accrues, accrues, lust mean the craving. When the beings lust, Craving accruses, the world destroy owing to the fire. And uh, when the being's hatred increases, what happened? The world destroy owing to the water. And uh, uh, delusion or our moha or the avijja, the illusion or the ignorance increases. When it with delusion improves, increases, what happened? Water, the world destroyed owing to the wind. So in this way, our world destroyed. So uh, again, I will explain how this explain uh, in the in the destruction of the Mahakappa. That means great eon. How we uh, the, uh, this destruction happened? This is the, according to the Attakata. This is the destruction of uh, the other uh, Dr. Shital, The other one. The first, we take the other slide. Yeah, uh, destruction of the Mahakappa. 
the destruction of the maha kappa maha kappa you know uh, four antar kappa is equal to the maha kappa that mean uh, i explain these four antar kappa these four antar kappa is equal to the maha maha kappa and one antar kappa is equal to the 64 uh, sorry sorry in this way <clears throat> this maha kappa mean four asankhya kappa uh, the term I miss, right? The term I, uh, this is the way you want to be correct in this way. For uh, antar cup, sorry, for uh, asankhya cup, or the four incalculable eons are equal to one maha cup. And uh, now, how many, uh, what is the antar, uh, sorry, uh, the Asankhya kappa, Asankhya kappa is equal to the 64 antar kappa. 64 antar kappa. I explained what is antar kappa in the former lesson. So if you want to go, if you want, want to know, you want to go back. And then this is the maha kappa uh, destruction. Beings and the realms uh, uh, destruct in this way. First destruction, destruction 8 you have. Eight, eight destruction first by the fire by the fire seven times seven times by the fire you know now according to the Buddha uh, owing to the lust or the craving um, uh, world destruct by the fire so by the fire seven times by the water one time water because of the hatred of the people not only the uh, human right all Deva Brahma and the Hell being, uh, not the hell being for awful states. And again, the second time also, uh, by fire seven times, by waters one time. And by fire third time also, by, by fire seven times, one time uh, water in this say up to the seven. You go to the seven. Seven also one uh, by fire seven times, by water one time. And then the eighth time, by fire seven times, and ultimately by wind. One time. We win the destruction, you know, now already owing to the delusion or avijja. And then it has, this is the maha kappa destruction. Now again, uh, one time by the fire, sorry, uh, the one, uh, one destruction, seven time by the fire, one time by the water, like that, it goes. And then how the antar kappa destruction occur. Uh, antar kappa. This is the destruction of the antar kappa. In the antar kappa destruction, beings only. Ample amount, plenty of amount of beings only destruct. Uh, so, we, how, how this in this way? Buddha mentioned by disease, by disease seven times. By disease mean owing to the craving or the lust. And another one by weapon, by weapon. How many times? One time. Uh, this is this weapon due to of, owing to the hatred or the aversion or ill will or animosity or hostility like that. <clears throat> and then again by the, by disease seven times, by weapon one time, again up to seven seven uh, um, the seven circle seven circle by, by disease seven times and uh, by weapon, one time. You go to this number seven. Uh, this is in the same way. This is and weapon. This is and weapon. In uh, this, uh, in the seven times, that means in the seventh uh, position, you have by this is seven time again, by weapon, one time. In the same way, the uh, now eight, <clears throat> when uh, it comes to the eight cycle, the by this is seven times and by famine, famine one time. We, we, uh, this famine comes because of the delusion of the people. Famine comes. And then in the same way, this is also, uh, uh, again it starts in this way, because of our last hatred and the delusion. That means loba, dosa and moha. You need to cut uh, this loba, dosa, moha in your family, family first and then to the society and then to the whole world. Like that, but uh, the uh, anyway, we cannot control this last hatred and the delusion without having the meditation. Without having the meditation, we we cannot cut these things. 
only meditation uh, according to the buddha's teaching if you take the meditation object only you can you can uh, cut this hatred and the la last few situation and the delusion uh, so you want to meditate you want to meditate uh, um, because uh, you know if you did not meditate what happened if you do not do not have the ability to uh, go to the brahma realms before the destruction then what happened you may be reborn in the i am not telling you right somebody may be one can may reborn in the lokantarika niraya you no know? so in the lokantarika niraya you have i mentioned they are very called they open uh, open to the space that world and they uh, they are um, all time they don't have food there and uh, you know how high then they are suffering so therefore you need to meditate you take the buddha's object uh, uh, samatha and uh, first samatha object and then you uh, go to the um, after forming jhana you go to the vipassana meditation as taught by the buddha only not as taught by somebody only the buddha buddha what buddha mentioned in the you know where uh, we can find out uh, the this thing this thing find out in the dhamma what is the dhamma pipitaka is the dhamma vine pitaka that means what is the bhikkhus uh, um, what called uh, disciplinary court and then you have sutta pitaka sutta pitaka mean how buddha uh, um, the, the understood dhamma in the bodhi tree in india in the mahabodhi tree in india you know in buddha gaya uh, oh, oh, what dhamma he understood basically four noble truths arya tangika mag and uh, seven types of visuddhi and 16 types of vipassana jnana before he practiced jhan before he practiced jhana up to eight attain and metta karuna mudita upeka and every jhana practiced and uh, thereafter he practiced four element meditation and thereafter he practiced rupa parichheda jnana thereafter he practiced buddha practice nama parichheda jnana and they, then thereafter buddha uh, produced the uh, what called uh, would be nivasana sati jnana to practice pachche paragaha jnana that mean the causal um, we can say post apprehending knowledge to practice appre post apprehending knowledge uh, buddha practice there after this buddha gave us to the same path not the different path same path we have buddha to the given for us and you also want to practice the meditation and learning dhamma uh, as taught by the buddha not by the not by me right not not or not by another mahatera not by the another upasaka not by the another samanera not by the another saman uh, samaneri also not in, not in the world at right now and you know not by another silavati or dasasila mata you need to go to practice this dhamma and hear this dhamma to the tipitaka only if tipitaka mention something something means some information you mean pali canon Uh, and the commentary and sub commentary like thing and they they are where only you can find out this good dhamma you don't uh, you cannot find out anywhere other than that so keep it mind okay now if you have question you can you can uh, ask sadhu 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 bhante what a wonderful session bhante i bow down to Bhagava for his sabandita nyana. Without this knowledge, Definitely. we won't be able to understand mm -hmm. all what's how the universe. I mean, how how this kappa destructs and reforms. And deep gratitude to you, Bhante, uh, for going through this very difficult topic, Bhante. Nami Bhante. So, so um, I open up uh, the forum for yeah, any sure. questions. Uh, yes. Please uh, raise your hand or post in the chat box. Bhante, in the meantime, uh, everybody is thinking on their question. Uh, 
I'll ask, uh, like in uh, the ahi chattaka is a special type of mushroom bande um, because uh, the Pali word for the uh, mushroom is like a bhumi papattaka, right? But this ahi chattaka is like a special bande during that time. Yeah, ahi chattaka mean, yeah. Uh, bhumi papattaka also, bhumi papattaka mean, yeah. Uh, same meaning. That mean ahi chattaka mean, you know, ahi mean the snake. Hmm? Snake, chatta mean uh, their hood, it hood, it has hood, no? So it hood, ahi chatta mean the snake hood, like a snake hood. Hmm? This, uh, uh, what call this mushroom appears at that time. This mushroom has uh, attractive color, attractive smell, attractive odor, and uh, the plenty of, uh, um, you know, the nutriment. Hmm? Yes, uh, that, 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 therefore, that is special mushroom. We don't need to have anything to eat that. Hmm? Yes, Pante. Like cooking and uh, putting something, salt and the other thing, the spices. No. Right? In this area. Bumi Papatta. Also, another name. Yes. Bumi yes, Papatta. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, yes, yes, Pankaj no has question. question, Bhante. So, uh -huh. Bhante, 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 uh, Rupa Bhumi and Rupa Bhumi somewhere, or is it uh, uh, is it lying between three world cycles itself? Yeah, only you 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 know now uh, our world cycle um, is uh, covered by the what called the you know, it is what is called Chakravala Pabbata. Chakravala Pabbata means special uh, um, power. Special cover around the world. So yeah, now you know the 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 world cycle is uh, round and uh, it's a cycle, circle, circular shape, and then uh, three world. Uh, if you meet three world, because you have uncountable world cycle, but uh, you know ten thousand world cycle. Buddha mentioned in the three ten thousand world cycle and. After 10,000 world cycle, Buddha mentioned this is the Jati Ketta. 10 cycle world cycle means Jati Ketta. That means the, the birth uh, period of the Buddha, Sama Sam Buddha. And then you have uh, 100,000 into 10 million world cycle. 100,000 into 10 million world cycle. That is what is called the um, uh, is Ana Ketta. Ana Ketta means the this is the power of the Buddha's Buddha Buddha's teaching. Power of the Buddha. Power of the Buddha goes to the hundred thousand hundred one hundred uh, one hundred uh, into ten million world cycle. Uh, so in, in this uh, this uh, this act as a one unit. That means uh, you have you you have, you have you can have find out. Many uh, Lokantrika Niraya because three world cycle uh, in set of three world cycle you have uh, this uh, Lokantrika Niraya in the three world cycles um, combining three world cycle for example um, like uh, you uh, you set the Atakata mentioned in this way if the ca three cartwheel uh, if we set if we set three cartwheel, then uh, la, la, the space like that, you have Lokantarika Naraka, not in the Kama Vachara world or the Rupa Vachara world or the Arupa Vachara world, in this way. That means, uh, I again, Atakata says, especially in the, uh, you know, Abhuta, uh, Acharya Abhuta Dhamma, in the Acharya Abhuta Dhamma, uh, sutta Acharya Abhuta Sutta in the Majjhimanikaya. It is in the Mahasunyata Vakta, Majjhimanikaya. If you want to read this thing in the Atta Kata, uh, it mentioned very clearly how this uh, 
not only that, uh, another sutta also mentioned uh, here, uh, here uh, Acharya Abhuta Sutta. Hmm? Acharya Abhuta Sutta may be in the uh, fourth sutta. This may be fourth sutta in the Sunyata Vagga, Maha Sunyata Vagga. Uh, you have they are mentioned this very clearly. That means, uh, or even you can understand in this way also. Uh, you keep uh, uh, three eggs, three eggs uh, closely. Then you can understand the this thing. Okay. Yes, Bhante. Yeah. This way. Ah, okay. Sadhu, 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 Bhante. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Then no any question. Yes, Bhante. Um, yeah. Yeah. Milind has a question. Uh, go ahead, Milind. Ah. Vandami Bhante, thank you so much ah, for your talk. Yeah. Ah. Uh, when you were explaining about the formation and destruction of uh, earth and all other uh, kapas, it, mm -hmm. it, it looks strikingly similar to the modern theory of uh, you know Big Bang and formation of earth and the life and the destruction and the whole cycle mm -hmm. goes on and off. And even the, the period seems like we can correlate to that. However, in the scientific reasoning, there is no such mention of, you know, uh, any kind of uh, realm and other things. So uh, this this uh, text is uh, from from where? And I mean, it seems like uh, it's something that was well discovered way ahead of time. To me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You mean, where is this text? Yeah, I mean, that's a vast knowledge out here. So, mm. uh, yeah, I know. Um, uh, so, Vinay is saying that it's from Tipitika, Ar Attakata. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. unless somebody scientifically finds it out or mm. or knows it, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> only then one, one can come to this uh, uh, this conclusion. So, uh, yeah. Does it also signify that uh, a Buddha or Buddhas have actually experienced this uh, and they have seen this? Yes, for example, only uh, one who has Sabbanyuta Jnana. Hmm? Sabbanyuta Jnana means the omniscience knowledge. Only one have uh, that, that means the Samma Sambuddha. Only one is the Samma Sambuddha. He deceive. He is the only deceiver one. No other the uh, body. And now anybody can uh, uh, attain to the samma sambuddha state. Only the uh, the sabbanyutanyana. Only the Buddha. So now you say here, what is panya? What is panya or the wisdom faculty as mentioned in the Tipitaka? Oh, uh, by the Buddha, panya is the the understanding. See, knowing and seeing the uh, your mentality, that means your mind and the mental factor. And uh, um, again, the, your maturity, understanding of your maturity, and understanding the cause of this mentality and maturity. And uh, then uh, to take this cause, uh, to take the, uh, by taking this uh, mentality and maturity and their causes, you need to practice vipassana. And then that is also your wisdom faculty, and not uh, not in, not only that. Up to arahanship, you need you can practice vipassana by taking these two objects: your dukkha sachadamma and the samudaya sachadamma. That is the panya, and not only that. Again, the panya, you know, the abhinya panya also there. Abhinya, abhinya means the supra. Uh, we can say um, it is the. It is the psychic power, right? So uh, it is the super psychic power. But to achieve this super psychic power, you need to produce jhana. You need to produce jhana. Without jhana, that means the absorptive concentration, absorption concentration, uh, you can't uh, achieve the uh, sup uh, supranatural power, we can say like that. Supranatural power means supranatural psychic power. Not, not the other... Namarupa, or you, uh, I, what I discussed in the um, um, Dukkha Sachadamma, finding out Dukkha Sachadamma, finding out the Samadhi Sachadamma and the Vipassana, that is different way. And uh, another way is 
to achieve the abhinya or the supernatural power. You need to practice jhana, especially kasina jhana. And you need to, you need to practice after kasina jhana, you need to you need to have uh, four arupa jhana also. Akasana chayatana, vinyana chayatana, nevasanya, uh, akinchanyayatana, nevasanya, nasanyayata. So after practicing eight attainment, that is the eight attainment. And you need to practice uh, 14 way of complete control of the mind. But that is what is called um, uh, Chattali Saka, ch sorry, um, Vasi Bhava of the 14 types of Vasi Bhava. Hmm? 14 types of Vasi Bhava. And thereafter, you need to, uh, after practicing these 14 types of Vasi Bhava, then again you need to enter into the enter into the fourth jhana of the usually Buddha mentioned Aloka Kasina fourth jhana, then uh, you have White Kasina fourth jhana, or you can uh, enter into the Tejo Kasina fourth jhana. And then through uh, based on this Kasina jhana, after practicing the 14 uh, types of complete control of mind, only you can, um, you can uh, see or even you can go with the go in the sky. You can, uh, you can, uh, or you can uh, swim in the in the earth, right? Like that, many different things can be done by uh, that is abhinya. Not only that, you can uh, go to the deva world, you can go to the brahma world, you can go to the hell. Uh, uh, not only that, you can uh, you can uh, go to your first class life to see. The second past life, many different past life, and uh, to uh, again you can see the the hell hell. You can see the deva world. That is what is called uh, the dibba chakkunyan. Hmm? Dibba chakkunyan. The uh, abhinya mean that is the idhividhyana. That means you can create your, your yourself. Sorry, you can create the another. You can create something. You can that is the idhividhyana. And you have again, you have uh, Pubbe Nivasana Satyana, and that is the uh, so to see in the first past life, second past life, like thing, uh, past life, the ability to see the past life. And then Dibba Chakkunyana. Dibba Chakkunyana means you can see you uh, the hell, even this world, and the uh, Deva world, Brahma world, that is the Dibba Chakkunyana. And then you have Parachitta Vijananayana to read the other's mind. And then uh, um, you have Dibba Sota Jnana. Dibba Sota Jnana means you can hear to the uh, uh, the many different uh, sound of the Deva sounds, Brahma sound, hell being sounds and like that. And this is the another Panya. Hmm? This is the another Panya. So especially in the Sabbanyata Jnana, all contain this, uh, the, this super knowledge also. So by way of only the uh, only one who attain to that state only can see the this world destruction, destruction, and the other thing uh, because of the Buddha's teaching. Also, now a uh, Buddha Savak or uh, the disciples of the Buddha also can see this uh, world destruction, right? This uh, world destruction and everything uh, the others also can, but to the scientist, they don't have this, they never achieve this knowledge. It's a dream to them. Okay? So therefore, their understanding is different. And their understanding is very, very uh, narrow. But Buddha's understanding is uh, no, no, uh, we can say, no extension. And, and, uh, th this is unlimited. Buddha's uh, understanding is unlimited. And uh, the other, Arahant also, uh, can see in limited limited only. Buddha's knowledge is the unlimited. Got it? Thank you Mr. so Milim? much, Bhattaji. Thank you so much. Um, God, okay. so much. Uh, okay. Vin Vinaya has a question. So, Sheetal, can I hand okay. over to her? Yes, yes. Sure. Bhattaji. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the wonderful session. Ah, sorry, so, sorry, Bhattiji, sorry. this uh, I think you covered this part, but I just wanted to make sure that I understood yeah. this well. Uh, the yeah. question is with regards to the last uh, two slides uh, before mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah. Um, yeah. where you mentioned about uh, uh, Buddha also talked about the reason for this capacity destruction. 
right when mm-hmm. something goes uh, uh, the the greed goes raga desa moha goes mm-hmm. in abundance and that that's where <clears throat> the fire and water and wind based uh, mm-hmm. kapa destruction happens so yes. so bhante ji uh, if i understand now uh, i'm just thinking myself uh, so mm-hmm. in sansara basically we are saying these three elements uh, mm-hmm. you know when these bad qualities grow in abundance mm-hmm. they this is the natural way of uh, four elements taking care of uh, you know naturally by destructing the kapa uh, mm-hmm. and you also some previous slides you mentioned and when the kappa gets destructed and it gets reformed uh, that's mm. when you mentioned that um, animals in water those are the ones uh, who take uh, he, who get reborn in human or celestial world so basically then yes. they have the positive kappa left so negative mm. kappa gets destroyed to all these uh, kappa destruction but beings we, who have residual positive kappa then they that that's how the next kappa gets started is that a fair understanding no no little bit uh, I, i will make uh, let me give the clearance yeah um, yeah i mean in this way you want to understand uh, the beings who have some uh, who have merits the beings who have merits accumulated and then they can reborn in the in the brahma sorry in the hum, uh, human uh, let's say like a hell being hmm? hell being or the animal or the ghost or the uh, other beings that mean the demon asura they all all are um, reborn in the human world and the deva world after because of their previous karma mm-hmm. hmm? because mm-hmm. of their previous karma mm. uh and uh, but, but in the in the case of hell being who has no uh, who has no uh, who, yeah who has no still they have their karmic power hmm. karmic power mean because of this karmic power you know their uh, life span is one antar kappa one antar kappa Mm-hmm. and they they are born in the lokantarika narak niraya or the naraka in the in the space between the three world cycle and uh, but because of our raga desa moha are the causes hmm? mm-hmm. our raga desa moha are the causes uh, especially now you you, you think uh, uh, What, what what you are understanding here please tell me again yeah so bhante ji what i am saying is uh, the the kappa destruction destroys all the beings who have raga yes. desa moha no not destruct all the being not destruct any being kappa destruction cannot destruct right any being mean for example you know every beings in the in the because of the raga raga that mean it related to the fire destruction in the fire destruction you know every being reborn in the abhasara brahma world hmm? being not destruct that it every being destruct mean they, they don't uh, exist in the in this world or the deva world they only only can go to the abhasara brahma world and uh, um uh, and then again reformation they they come to the earth from the abhasara brahma world huh? okay so yeah pante ji we, we thought the when the kappa is destructed yeah the, all, all being goes also, to the celestial realm world yeah yes yes C- and, C- not uh, celestial a celestial and thereafter from the celestial to the brahma world brahma world so yeah. we we so our our confusion is Mm-hmm. we think that celestial world this is uh, my perception mm-hmm. is is a yes. good place to be so how come uh, uh, a lower being or or the one in the animal and lower moves to the celestial yeah. world how is uh, it possible yeah for example in the kappa destruction you mean oh, so yes i think 
saying in the kapha yeah. destruction the the celestial and the brahma world doesn't get destroyed is that is that or that also gets destroyed yeah here now in the in the case of fire destruction hmm, before okay. the fire destruction that means before the second sun appears huh, before the second sun appears uh, because now be, uh, no beings can uh, see the second sun. No beings can. Only Deva and Brahma can see the second sun. And before the second sun appear, you know, now seven suns appear and were destructed because of the fire thereafter. And before the second sun appears, all beings want to be reborn in the in the Deva world as well as from the Deva world also Brahma world because Deva world also destruct. Hmm. And now, what are the what are what are the kusala kama? That means that's why this loka Bhuha deva comes to the world and they say, um, uh, please, sir, uh, this world destruct. The, uh, this, the, this eon destruction occurs uh, after one lakh uh, years from here, from right now. So therefore, uh, develop your compassion, develop your uh, loving kindness, develop your equanimity, like that he mentioned. They, they mentioned that, that Loka Bhuha Deva or the world, uh, we can say world martial Deva. So th thereafter humans become more a sense of urgency. They, they, they are most likely uh, end up with the sense of, sense of urgency and they now uh, think uh, oh, we want to do the Kusala thing. Kusala thing means what, what the Kusala thing? They mentioned Kusala thing. Please take care of your mother. Um, um, pay respect to your father. Pay respect to your family. Like that they mentioned. And because of this Kusala Kama, they first reborn in the Deva world. To go to the Deva world, do you don't need to have Jhana. Got it? And then from the Deva world, they, they produce the Vayo Kasina Jhana. Vayo hmm? Kasina means the wind Kasina Jahana. Vayo Kasina Jahana, they produce. And thereafter, all Deva, all the all Deva beings in the Deva world also want to, must produce Jahana. Must produce Jahana to go to the second Brahma world. Now, the, the yeah, uh, Abhasar, Abhasar Brahma world. They reborn, all reborn in the Abhasar Brahma world. Below, below the Abhasar Brahma world, Beings, all beings reborn there. But you know, in the uh, uh, some parts go to the Lokantrika Niraya also. And uh, again, in the human plane, for, for example, in the human planes also, they can produce jhana. They can produce jhana in the human planes also. So the, the, uh, to go to the Brahma plane, you need to produce jhana. Otherwise, you can't go. Got it? This is the merits. Mr. Uh, Milip? Maybe they are not there. Yeah, but they understood. Thank you so much. Ah, okay. So, Vinaya and uh, Milan, I would recommend, like in last session, Bhante has uh, explained uh, the how this uh, Brahma world and Deva world uh, with the chart, with the help of chart, very in uh, detail. So, please uh, go through the last and uh, the previous lecture. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. We will definitely. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. From the beginning of uh, one. Yes. One, uh, the first uh, one session. Into the second, third, yeah. Ah, yeah. So, any other okay. questions uh, anybody has for Bhante? Please type in or raise your okay. hand. Ah, Mr. Datta. Um, okay. Agar koi Hindi ya Marathi mein sawal puchna chate hai, to aap puch sakte hai. Main koshish karungi translate karne ke liye. Bhante, I have a question. Can I ask? Yes, of course. Um, so, Bhante, the, the thin uh, Buddha Khitta, so you um, yeah. explained Jati Khitta, Ana Khitta, and the third one, Visay Khitta, Bhante, I didn't Vite, understand. Visay Khitta, yeah. Visay Khitta. I didn't understand. Visay Khitta. Uh, Visay Khitta, Khitta means 
புத்தர்ஸ் அனாத விஷயம் இந்த ஸ்கோப் ஆஃப் த அபிலிட்டி or the um, yeah scope of extension that mean that scope when whenever buddha uh, want to uh, take the object for uncountable uh, e- uh, uncountable word cycle that is the visekata here now 10000 is equal to the jatikata and the 100000 and the 100000 into 10 million is is the uh ana ketta in you know ana ketta uh, what is the ana ketta that mean they are they are also having some uh, uh, arrogant deva and from especially the arrogant deva so they destroy uh, our world b- beings they destroy mean they they eat uh, like that they can the, the especially the yakha deva and the other thing you know or even you know the, for the some birds also huge birds and you know the uh, another um, snake also you uh, they can come they can come and uh, especially it has happened in the in the um, uh, when buddha uh, especially happened in the vesali hmm? when Bu- when buddha is uh, when buddha was alive there vesali happened and then the buddha Uh, recite ratan ratana sutta buddha gave the ratana sutta for them in the same way uh, this ratana sutta and atanati sutta mora sutta and uh, another the, again uh, uh, khanda paritta like a sutta's power paritta power it goes to the uh, anakitta hmm? it it, uh, it it expand to the anakitta up to anakitta then the uh, arrogant uh, deva and brahma cannot come here cannot come here mean because if we recite this thing oh buddha now now uh, prevented that hmm? buddha now prevented already and the visekata mean uh, it is not no, you don't have limitation buddha don't have buddha doesn't have the limitation for the visekata that mean the uh, uncountable world cycle got it ஒன்னிட் <laughs> 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 100000 yeah 100000 into 10 million world cycle destroyed as a one unit and then another uh, one unit another uh, thereafter you have another 100000 and uh, 10 million world cycle that that also uh, destroyed as a one unit okay got it in the same way after the after the, uh, after the second uh, 100000 into 10 million world cycle you have another another uh, thing uh, we can't count that right for example therefore buddha mentioned usually basically these three uh, ketta uh, be, uh, without understanding these three ketta um, that, that mean yeah without understanding or without mentioning these three ketta you cannot understand the kappa destruction so therefore it mentioned in the kappa destruction sorry did, did, did not uh, get that ah, detail of it here, okay now see here now 10000 world cycles are, are the buddha's jati ketta jati ketta mean when the buddha burns with the get the before burn buddha want, uh, as a bodhisattva he want to reborn in the mother's womb in this bodhisattva uh, he reborn in the mahamaya devi's womb and uh, in in that situation you know um, uh, many different thing happen for example uh, the the world illumination and uh, the earthquake like thing happen so that that is to the 100000 world cycle huh? sorry sorry 10000 world cycle and then you have 
uh, including these 10,000 word cycle also, you have 100,000 100, into 10 million word cycle, 40 lakh, hmm? 100,000 into 10 million word cycle, you have world cycle only you have, right? World cycle. That world cycle, that means from our world up, up to the 100 100,000 into 10 million world cycle as a one unit destroyed by the fire, by the water and by the wind in the in the different different times. And but after this uh, 40 lakh or the 100,000 into 10 million world cycle, you have another 100,000 10 million world cycle thereafter. Got it? So these many exist already, it, it, like they are like innumerable. No, no. Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. They they are also distracted. And at the same time, right? This is happening at, at the, same the same time. time. Same time. At the same time, yeah. At the same time, they are also distracted. Uncountable world cycle distract because uh, th this is the Buddha's explanation. That means when our world world cycle distract. It includes the hundred thousand and ten million, hundred thousand into ten million world cycle uh, as a one unit, and again another another one unit again destruct again mean at the same time, hmm? at the same time uncountable world cycle destruct. And that's the anakhita, right, Bhante? That's um, yes, that that is uh, yeah, un, that is the anakhita mean the. Uh, the second, uh, that means the 100,000 into 10 million world cycle. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Anaketa, uh, if the Anaketa destroy, destroyed, our Jatiketa also destroyed. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Jatiketa also destroyed. Uh, that's the we, thing here. Visay Ketta is totally different, right? Whenever Buddha wants to know anything. Uh, yeah. Um, uh -huh. I, I'm just trying to, yeah. So Sabanyuta Nana is like that. They want to know anything. They can just know that with that yes, Sabanyuta yes. knowledge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's um with the kappa destruction. Um, how how that's related? Like the visay kitta bhante. Now uh, visay kitta with the kappa destruction. That means uh, you need to understand up to up to the uh, anakitta, right? If the Anaketa destroyed, your Yatiketa also including destroyed. Eh? And then what is this Viseketa? That means it is uncountable. No? It has no limitation. So that means we need to understand the whole world cycles, uh, incalculable world cycle in this way, destroyed. We need to understand that thing. No world cycle uh, for the for the fire. Every world cycle destroyed, right? Uh, for the for the water also by owing to the water also all, all destruct all will destroy destroy, and for the wind also all will destroy. In but if we understand the one unit in the same way, other unit also destruct. That's the meaning here. Yes, sadhu. Yes. Ah, hoto. Yeah. Um, Mr. Vimalananda, um, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay. Uh, Mr. Nilind and uh, Vinaya. Uh, uh, madam, I can't let it. Oh, 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 bola. Uh, madam, Malayana, don't push the chair. ते धास संयोजन मधे रूप राख अनि अरूप राख यंसा ते किस लोकन मधे जे रूप लोकन अरूप लोग हैं अनि ये जे रूप राख अरूप राख ये बॉडी मधे कसे पाए जी मंजे कहाँ है ते सो कहाँ ही समझते नहीं थे ठीक है भंते asking like um, in the ten संयोजन there is a rupa raga and uh -huh. a rupa raga. Uh -huh. So in this body, how to look for that uh, a rupa raga and a rupa raga? In ten sanyojana, in related to the ten sanyojana. Ten sanyojana, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how we want to see the rupa raga and the rupa raga? Yeah. Yes, Pante. 
yeah for example you know what is the rupa raga mean uh, we have uh, craving to reborn in the uh, brahma world that is the rupa raga hmm? and then what is the arupa raga arupa raga is to we have desire or the craving to reborn in the arupa world so hmm. yeah when the when for example if you attain to the sotapanna magganyana and the phalanyana right uh, sotapanna magganyana and the phalanyana what happen uh, your three fetters or three sanyojana destroy for example yes. silabada paramasa and the um, yeah vichikicha and the Sakaya Ditti. Mm. The other one is, yeah, uh, Sakaya Ditti. So these three feathers will be destroyed by the Sotapanna Magganyana. But uh, when you attain to the Sakadagami Magganyana, Magganyana doesn't uh, destroy any kilesa, but uh, these kilesas can uh, subside, can subside only, can be subsided by the Sakadagami Magganyana. Right? And then, uh, you know, in when attaining to the anagami magganyana that mean in this two in these two paths sotapanna magganyana and the sakadagami magganyana uh, they you know now they are never reborn in the four powerful states but they still have kama vachara world that mean kama raga they have reborn in still they they have a lustful mindset to reborn in the kama vachara world that mean human world and the deva world and but when you attain to the uh, anagami stage anagami stage still you have uh, anagami stage mean Uh, you re partly remove the karma raga, but still you have re uh, the lust to reborn in the arupa. Sorry, rupa world. That means if you attain to the anagami world and uh, anagami state, and you you need to uh, go, uh, after death, after death of the anagami, they reborn in the suddha vasa only. Suddha vasa means rupa rupa world. So th that's mm -hmm. the meaning here. He, he still has the desire to reborn there mm -hmm. and then uh, if you attain to the arahant level arahant path knowledge and the crucial knowledge with the arahant path knowledge it destroy this uh, aruparaga aruparaga that means no birth at all thereafter so therefore he he never reborn in the rupa world he never reborn in the uh, arupa world And again, avijja, he destroyed totally avijja or the illusion, and he destroyed mana, uddacha, he destroyed. So the, uh, that means, uh, in this way, you need to understand this thing. How you uh, want to want to break down the rupa raga and arupa raga? That means uh, only the arahant path knowledge you can destroy every. Uh, Uh, this lustful situation that means rupa raga and the arupa raga mean lust rupa lust and the arupa lust Immat immaterial lust and as a uh, material lust as well as immaterial lust so you need to understand in this way uh, dr mm -hmm. shita uh, can understand uh, or if you want to if you want to give account please uh, translate uh, tumhala kalla ka sir a uh, thoda samajla nahi samay बरस महती हो आता जे संग रिबॉन चे कहत नंते संग रिबॉन मध्य रूपराग रूपराग मध्य जो रूपराग आग हे थर्टी वन हमले दोन का ब्रह्मलोक अरूपलोक हि रिशन है का Bhante is asking, like, uh, is it uh, related to, to the Rupa and uh, Rupa world and Ar Arupa, like a Brahma world? This Rupa Rag and Arupa Rag. Yeah, Rupa Rag means Rupa Brahma world. The desire to reborn in the Rupa Brahma world. Okay. Yes. And, yes. It, and it, uh, it, Arupa Rag means the, the the desire to reborn in the Arupa Arupa Brahma world. 
राग गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉइड बाय फायर एंड देन देस गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉइड बाय वॉटर एंड मोह गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉइड बाय एयर नो 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 no no it is not no. the way okay because of the rag uh-huh. the world destruction by the fire yes yes so uh, my question uh, is yes. did did buddha give us the reason why oh yeah the reason i am means... asking is the reason i am asking mm-hmm. is when we meditate and we mm. want to get rid of this greed root or hatred root or ignorance root will the yes. corresponding element mm. you know meditation would help that that's the follow up question from there so that's the reason right, i want right. to know the reason ah that mean for example B- B- buddha mentioned this thing this thing mean uh, because of this raga our world destruct destruct by the fire yeah that mean you know raga like a fire huh raga gin buddha mention raga gin uh, it is not related to the any i mean the matter materiality in your body and the, the, the thing is raga arise in the mind uh, not the mm-hmm. not the body raga arise in the mind for example uh, because of this raga that mean you know in the uh, in this world also now raga is uh, raga and those uh, moha everything are increasing but uh, most powerful thing may be raga hmm. at that time uh, buddha only that mention uh, that mean raga if you uh, not you every population in the third world whole third world hmm. if you have raga especially third world mean you know especially in this karma vachara world and the they uh, yeah especially in the karma vachara world karma vachara world if the raga rises and then uh, uh, because of this raga power of the raga uh, that, that mean passion of the humans and passion of the uh, uh, the other being especially deva and the powerful states beings uh, then the uh, naturally power, power um, the the second sun arises hmm? second yeah. sun arises okay naturally yeah. that happen naturally yeah. because of the power of the rag okay hmm? yeah. okay yeah. and like an antar kapra destruction bhante like the yeah. two things can happen at the same time like we saw that the covid pandemic like the disease state um uh, because of the delusion right and then the, yeah. the war like the hatred um so the we we see war and this uh, pandemic struck so that antar kappa that two things can also happen bante at the same time or uh, uh, at the same time if, for example if you have covid you don't have the uh, all covid like situation not only covid no covid 19 or uh, such type of uh, disease which can uh, um uh, destroy the ample amount of people so people or the beings other beings also um in that at that situation one who cannot do the work war one who cannot do the war no? cannot involve in the war because every uh, thing may be uh, um interrupted so that all action will be interrupted at that time so therefore you uh, you can have only one hmm? for example in the uh, never uh, somebody want to start the war in the covid season or such type of disease season or in the disease season nobody can uh, attain to the war got it yes bhante like we are yeah. talking about like very ample amount so even the small yeah like this the, the ample civil amount. wars and all that going on but like the ample yes. amounts of being so destroyed yeah. so only one yeah for thing. example in the first world war mm-hmm. and the second world war not whole being died yeah. ample amount on 
whole world ample amount in the second world war, first world war, right? Uh, like that. Yeah, Bante Pankaj has question. Well, uh, Pankaj? Yeah, yes, Bante. So uh, I, I don't have a question, Bante, but more like uh, I wanted to say a comment and uh, wanted to see if I'm understanding it correctly from you. So the mm -hmm. basic idea here is that as a collective being, their mm -hmm. collective um, defilements, whatever is kind of stronger between those three defilements that yes. starts to become the reason because mind has a power to um, modify the rupa in the in the way the defilements are growing that's where the destruction starts to take shape yeah good job that means one powerful we have raga dosa moha but, but uh, in the whole population, if the powerful uh, asset you, if the powerful one arise, the, uh, their heads, then only uh, according to that destruction occur. Yes, Mante. Okay. Yes, Mante. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. That's Doctor. the reason. Yes. yes. Thank you. Doctor, another Sunando, yeah. something like that? Dr. Dr. Sunando? Sunando? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Vandami Bhante. Uh, I As just have one question. Uh, I just have yeah. one question that uh, in today's situation with all this pandemic and uh, there is all restlessness in the world, like uh, nobody is satisfied. Everybody uh, wants to uh, have something uh, like uh, everybody is trying to be very uh, unsatisfied uh, in the world. So uh, in this situation, uh, how means, uh, what this situation is called as uh, by the Buddha's way and uh, how we can uh, uh, like um, what we can do to uh, calm this situation. One thing what I have uh, learned and understood is the metta uh, and even the reciting the paritta. Uh, is there anything else what we can do or uh, only metta and paritta will be helpful? Can you just uh, explain us? Okay. Uh, yes. For example, you need to uh, pay metta. Payment. I mean, now, now, uh, you, you mentioned now people's passion increase, increases the pa passion. Um, um, not only passion, it includes the hatred and illusion also. And but uh, the, yeah, then one is to pay metta, karuna, mudita, upe, all four. Hmm? And then uh, parit sajjayana also. And then the, the other thing is meditation, samatha and vipassana meditation. But according to the Buddha's way only. If you go against the Buddha's way, for example, uh, another way, uh, according to the Buddha's way, you have two meditators. The first one is the Samathayanika meditator, other one is the Suddha Vipassana meditator, Suddha Sukha Vipassana. That means Samathayanika meditator means first he want to produce jhana and then to the Vipassana. And for the Suddha Vipassana, that means he doesn't have, uh, he, he doesn't want to produce jhana, instead he directly want to must practice for element meditation, Chatudahatu Avadhana Bhavana. And uh, in this way, going up to Nibbana is the Buddha's teaching. Uh, actually, if you go in this way, uh, that is also helpful to uh, reduce the, that is more helpful to reduce the uh, defilement over the passion of the human beings, even in the Deva beings also. The other one is the meditation, uh, Samatha and Vipassana meditation. Got it? Uh, that, yes, Mante. Uh, that will help to like ourselves as well as uh, to the others also. Like uh, in uh, the, the yes, calmness will come. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mante. Thank you. Okay. okay. Yeah. Any, uh, anybody has any other yeah. questions? Yeah. 
Pante, one of the participants uh, posted a question on my WhatsApp, Pante, but it's not okay. related to today's topic. Is that uh, mm -hmm. okay, Pante, to ask? Okay. So, uh, well. um, on behalf of Mr. Abhijit, who posted a question, uh, so the Pante, he asked me, do we have a detailed des description and practical approach on eight precept Atasila? And uh, also, is there is a mention of exception in which it is allowed to break, like break that tasila, like what are the exceptions? And uh, like example, for example, like abstaining from lying uh, is in the sila, but like he's asking, mm -hmm. like in business and maintaining the relations, we have to lie. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. The, the first question he asked, uh, what are the what are the suttas? What are the discourse? No, yes. many discourse we have, especially in the, you know, in Samanya uh, Pala Sutta in the Diganikaya. It it has sila sila uh, sila kanda. Buddha, how Buddha explained the sila kanda? Even in the Visuddhimagga also, you have many description, many uh, uh, you have good account in the Visuddhimagga also. Many suttas you have in the Anguttara Nikaya and Majjhima Nikaya also. But uh, powerful sutta is the uh, Samanya Pala Sutta. Hmm? Samanya Pala Sutta. It is in the Diga Nikaya, uh, Silak Khandavag. Huh? Silak Khandavag, if you want. Then again, uh, for example, uh, the, though you you, uh, you are a businessman, not only you, uh, if, somebody, if someone is a businessman and he wants to lie to the people, that means he deceives the people uh, person he uh, he duped the persons the others he he scam he uh, yeah he scammed the people so therefore uh, anyway this is not uh, the uh, for example if somebody even though he is he is doing business he must uh, uh, he must avoid from the uh, the telling lie then what happened. If you tell the lie and you earn much more money and the profits, what uh, in th to this life only, and to the next life you go to the hell, hmm? you go to the uh, powerful states definitely, especially to the well hell, and uh, uh, that's the main most uh, dangerous course. If you go to the hell, you know their lifespan is much more uh, longer. So therefore, that's that. that uh, in this case, yeah, then you need to avoid anyway the line. Hmm? You need to uh, avoid the. Uh, but to if you say that, uh, but to uh, uh, to leave, we want to take. Uh, we want to tell the lie. But uh, um, but to leave in this life only. Huh? Uh, take this uh, dangerous uh, situation uh, and uh, think over. Think over and over about this. Uh, I, I think it is not to you, but this is a common question. And uh, this is the common answer to you uh, to avoid this thing. Whatever the whatever the situation, if you if you don't have if you don't have much of profit, and uh, even you lost, but you protect your sila. Hmm? That's that's according to the Buddha's teaching, <laughs> right? I don't see any questions, Bhante. No hands are raised. Uh, let me just okay. check the then... YouTube, Bhante. Ah. No, no. You I mean no? I don't see any questions, Bhante. Okay, then let's stop. Yes, Bhante. Should we make our announcement for the next week's session uh, series? We yeah, are still sure, sure. Bhante? So, yeah, first well. of all, so much gratitude, Bhante, for such a wonderful session, Bhante. As always, uh, much more mer much merits to you, Bhante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So, um, from next week onwards, 7th January, that will be Sunday at 5 p.m. Indian Standard Time, uh, Venerable Bhante Vimalavansa um, is going to teach us study the practice learning and practice of visuddhi magga so we requested bhante 
um, like we should learn deeply about this um, Pisuddhi Magga, uh, which was composed by Venerable Buddha Ghosa. And it has a detailed explanation on how to practice Sila, Samadhi and Panya by Buddha's way. Uh, so it's going to be a very long-term series. Bhante is going to teach us um, directly from Visuddhi Magga, um, then Tika and um, in Pali, and then um, Bhante will explain us uh, in English. Um, so we're going to start that from next week onwards, 7th January. Uh, 5 p.m. India time. That will be Sunday. Um, so thank you so much, Pante. I mean, it's it will be uh, such a wonderful series. I'm very eager to learn uh, Visuddhi Manga, Pante. So thank you very much, Pante. Okay. Then uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Pankaj and Dr. Sheetal Mishram. Uh, because they invited me to view this Dhamma talk to the listeners, uh, Buddhist listeners. And uh, you in this way, you have accumulated much of Kusala uh, by learning and by hearing Dhamma. I also accumulated Kusala by giving uh, Dhamma talk to you. So now we want to share these merits to the other beings. Uh, this is the sharing merits. Then we all can recite with me. Okay, let's start. Let's get started. Idam me punyang hasavakaya vahamu tu. Idam me punyang nibbanas satyo tu. Mama punyang bahagam sape satan haji me ni. Te sabde ni sam punyang bahagam sade sadu. Okay, see you then. Thank you again. Ah, okay, so Such a wonderful yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you all the participants for joining. And yeah, we'll see you from next week onwards on the Our series of Visuddhi Magga. With your permission, Bhante, should we yes. end the session today? Now we can we can stop. Yes. yes. Manami Bhante, come up to my Bhante. Yes, you can go to.